All right, hey everyone. Uh, I'm just gonna be showcasing off uh, how to real quick connect your Akaya Lunar to your Decent DE1 and also just talk about some little quirks that I've noticed uh, with this particular setup. So once you've turned your Lunar on, you've turned your machine on, what you wanna do is you go into your settings, make sure in the menu settings, I think by default the Lunar comes with the Bluetooth on, so you should be okay. Uh, what you want to do is go into the search section here. You'll your scale should show up, or you should you can force it to search for it. And once it does, as you as you notice here, the machine thinks it's connected, or there's like a check mark here because this is the machine here, and then the the scale. It doesn't actually think the scale is connected, or like it, it's not actually connected. So what you have to do is you have to tap on this tiny little check mark box on the left hand side. And there we have the uh, Bluetooth indicator light on the Lunar. Um, so you can't tap in the middle, you can't tap on the right, you have to tap on this little precise section. So don't worry if, you know, it's not, doesn't seem like it's actually connecting. You maybe just actually didn't tap in the right section. So a um, little quirk there. But anyway, here's the DSX skin and it's all zeroed out. I really like the Lunar set to the auto tear and and start weighing at a flow. So like if I put a cup here, it'll auto tear. So that's like super awesome. And um, what's really cool too is the machine detects all the weight I, I put on it. Another really nice feature is when you start pulling a shot, it will just automatically tear. So you don't have to actually wait for the cup to, or the scale to fully auto tear and you don't even need to touch anything on the scale. Um, and then what's really cool of course is you can get the time of when the first drop hits uh, if you have it set to, to, to uh, I think it's like auto tear and flow on the Lunar and you also will be able to get the full on uh, timing from your machine when you pull a shot. Okay, take two on actually showing you guys uh, the the shot because uh, the other shot I pulled did not come out very well, uh, very good at all. So as you see, it auto teared out zero grams, zero grams, and then when I actually pull a shot here, then I, I set it at stop at one uh, one to two ratio. I put eighteen grams of beans in, and I'm going to get thirty six out. Um, and need zero grinder. Ooh, very cool. Okay, watch this. Now we're getting our little cool, really nice pre-invasion things there. So now detected that I've, that it's getting something. Now it's weighing and it's timing. And then, uh, this probably isn't the best puck prep that you, you'll see, but I can brighten this up real quick. You'll see that it's pretty close. Um, sometimes it goes to like 36, uh, 35.9, 36.1, but extremely accurate. And uh, I'm very happy with this, the scale integration. So thanks for watching and let me know if you have any other questions or anything you'd like me to explore. All right. Oh, and I just wanted to show you something. So if I'm pulling a shot, I there's nothing in here, but if I, if I just, this is all Bluetooth connected. If I just add a little bit of weight here, it, it'll just stop. Um, so I said at 36 grams, so I just put more than 36 grams of force on the scale, it will indeed stop. Af after the fill stage, there we go. So now it it just uh, decided to stop. And it, um, anyway, that's kind of a little quirk as, as, as I was mentioning, when you have your scale on here, you don't want to touch everything. If you accidentally have a cup here and you move it, you might exert more than 36 grams of force or whatever you've uh, set your profile to stop at. Uh, so that's just a little quirk there. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.